Hi, this is Kat Martin with Terrier Vision. I'm here with men's soccer head coach Ralph Polson. Coach, good win tonight over ETSU 1-0. You guys had no points on the board going into the second half, but what do you think you guys were doing well to get you in a good position for that header early in the second half? Well, you know, what we've worked on all week is playing, playing simple, playing fast, and really it came down to how well we started. We started the game with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of focus, and uh, to, to keep them off the scoreboard, you know, and, and, and the, the complete effort by the team to defend you know when you look at the fact that our leading goal score goes out uh, in the second half and uh, you know and, and Matthew Rednick uh, with a little nick and so now we've got to we've got to rely on some younger players and when you look at the goal that scored it was assisted by a sophomore and a freshman scored by a freshman uh, and then and then you look at the leadership that we received from from uh, from Kyle Nelson uh, Joe Wickman in, in his four years is probably one of the best games that he's played. Uh, two brilliant saves, but his leadership in the back, just organizing, putting people where they needed to be. Um, and just, you know what, we found a way to kill off the game there towards the end. We defended a lot, um, but but that's, you know, you're up 1-0 uh, against the team and a, and a very good ETSU team that just a week ago knocked off North Carolina. And they were number one, they were, there's the number one team in the country. So to, to get a win here, and we take great pride in, in, in playing at home, uh, and, and playing at Snyder Field, it's a big deal to us to to, to win here, uh, and and to be able to do what we did tonight. It was a, it was a, everybody that played had a had a huge part in the success of this game tonight. This is there looking to settle it down. And Donahue does a great job. Finds a through ball to Ross, who plays a left-footed ball in Altman. Is able to get ahead on it. The Johnson City, Tennessee native able to find the back of the net. And the Terriers take the one to nothing lead after a great play between Donahue and a first time ball from Ross inside the box. Lucas, you, score, you scored your first career goal tonight. How excited for that were you? Um, you know, it was, it's been common and uh, to get it versus my hometown team uh, meant a lot. Um, it was a great ball by Sam Ross and uh, Connor Donahue set it up, so all I had to do was get my head on it, and uh, it went pretty crazy. So you played the school from your hometown tonight. What was going through your mind before the game and during it? I, I just try not to focus too much on the opponent. I try to focus on our game plan and, and me as an individual instead of them, and uh, I guess it worked out for the best. You mentioned that ETSU beat the number one team, UNC. Was that in mind at all during the game? Well, you know, it's something we talked about. I mean, they, they've they've had a couple of good results. They had the the, the win at North Carolina. They had a tie with Furman. Um, so those are, and again, I mean, we next we get to play Furman. So knowing that that was the case, it was important to us to stay focused. Knowing that they, and again, against North Carolina, they defended a lot, but they took they took advantage of an opportunity. And in in our game, that's what, uh, regardless of what the stats say, uh, at the end of the at the end of the day, it's the it's the team with the most goals. So that's what we had to be switched on the entire match. And and uh, the nice thing was when we scored the goal, we didn't just sit back and defend. We still tried to get forward, still try to create opportunities. Now the last uh, eight, ten minutes, uh, maybe we defended a little bit more, but uh, we did a good job not not making any mistakes, keeping everything in front of us, and then looking, picking and choosing our opportunities to go forward. Lucas Altman, high pressure on Woodfin, able to turn, look inside the box, and a look on goal as Wickman makes a great save. Joe, first shutout of the season tonight. What were you thinking during the game? Uh, just trying to get the result team played well, did what they were supposed to do, so just everyone doing their job basically. And what was going through your head in the last five minutes during those couple of big saves you had? Not a lot. Don't let the ball get in the goal. Just That was about it. Um, like I said, the, the back line played incredible. They won a bunch of big headers, a bunch of, bunch of big challenges, so I mean, credit to them as well. well it looks like Alberto went down. Left-footed ball sent in the box. Wickman comes off his line. And a great series from the Buccaneers as they get several looks on goal. Wickman coming up with several big saves. You're now 2-1 and one in the conference, and your next one's against Furman. What are you going to focus on going into this game? Well, it, it's, it's not going to change. I mean, it's, it's about playing simple. Uh, playing, play, improving our, 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 our speed of play, uh, and then the same thing when we when we turn the ball over, when we give the ball away, that making sure that we're getting numbers behind and we're defending. So we've got we've got a couple of days. They're off tomorrow. We got a couple of days for them to prepare Thursday and Friday, and then head over to Greenville on uh, on Saturday. Thanks, coach. Thank you.